CIDSS Requirement 2.3 calls out the need to encrypt all non-console uh, administrative access. Now, this doesn't mean you have to encrypt all access. We're only looking to see that you're encrypting administrative type access. Now, I want to talk a little bit about administrative access and from an assessment perspective, how we classify administrative. If you have the ability to impact or make changes to a system or a setting that would impact the security of the data that you're, you're trying to protect, uh, or you have the ability to impact the security of a, of a user or change a user's experience, we kind of put those types of uh, actions into the administrative type role. So from an assessment perspective, the assessor is likely to ask you for uh, the results of an NMAP scan having been run uh, against your environment. And what this is going to define for us is what protocols, ports, and services you actually have open. We're going to be looking at the installed and running services. Um, and one of the things that we're going to look for is you might have VNC running, you might have uh, Telnet running, you might have a plethora of different protocols, ports, and services that are open and applications that are running in order to support these remote access services. You're required to have these encrypted, um, and they need to be encrypted with strong cryptography. So as part of this, there might be situations where you as an organization uh, might have a legacy uh, mainframe server uh, running some type of TN3270, but it only supports uh, uh, TLS 1.0. In situations like that, from an assessment perspective, is that we would have to look for other security features that you can implement or perhaps put a wrapper around uh, these protocols uh, to secure them. Uh, as a given example, if you're running a Microsoft server, there's different uh, negotiation levels that these servers uh, will, will uh, encrypt, right? And there's uh, typically the default setting is to a negotiate. Uh, from a security perspective and assessment perspective, we, we look to see these uh, the encryption setting for the RDP set to high. Uh, this forces um, a strong encryption. Uh, so be aware of how you're connecting to your assets making sure that the protocols, ports, and services that you're using are secure. Uh, and the intent behind this is to prevent a malicious user that may be in your environment from sniffing this traffic and gaining the authentication credentials.